Hi, everybody, and welcome to the exercises on the top of page 19 in the workbook here. And we're going to be looking at exercise one in this video. Um, this is a nice exercise just to see if you can visualize vector addition. Okay, and we're going to do this in three dimensions just to give you a little bit of practice with working with vectors in three dimensions. So the point of this exercise is they're, they're giving us three vectors, u, v, and w, just visually. And they'd like us to draw representations of three vector sums. So starting with u plus v. Okay, and so what's helpful in this exercise is to remember that with vectors, all that's important is the length and the direction. Okay, so if we wanna, if we wanna draw the vector u plus v, the idea is we want to do the vector u and then follow it by the vector v and ask ourselves what is the overall combined motion of u plus v together. Okay, so it helps to be able to take the vector u and to put the vector v right after it. Okay, so what we're allowed to do in a problem like this is to take the vector v that's up here and just to move it anywhere we like. So I'm going to take that vector v and move it so that it starts where v, where u ends. Okay, so here's a copy of v. We're allowed to do that because again, that new vector that I drew has the same length and direction as the v that we started with. Okay, so the vector sum, u plus v, would be the vector that we get if we start, okay, at the beginning of u and we end at the end of v. Okay, so u plus v would be there. Okay, and I want to emphasize that that's not the only place that we could draw it. You, you may have choose, chosen to move the u and the v around in different ways, and so your u plus v may very well end up in a, in a different place in our diagram, but it should have the same length and direction as the u plus v that I just wrote down here. Okay, so we've, we've done part A. Let's move on to part B u plus v plus w, what would that vector look like? Okay, well there, what we need to do is to put the vectors u, v, and w together in order and pay attention to the starting and the ending point. Okay, so we're going to first move along u, then we're going to move along v, and then we're going to move along w, and you want to pay attention to the starting and the ending point. So what is the combined action of those three vectors together? Well, we started at the origin and we wound up here. And so u plus v plus w would be the vector that takes us from the starting to the ending point. Okay, there it is. All right, and finally, what about u minus v? Where would that be in our diagram? Okay, well, again, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that we're allowed to move vectors around. Okay, so we've got u down here. That was the vector that was given to us. I'm going to take that vector and move it here. That's just a choice I'm making. And if you think about it, u minus v is the same as taking u and adding the vector negative v to it. Okay, so... Can we draw the vector negative v in our diagram? Okay, well, how does the negative of a vector relate to the vector? It just takes its direction and changes it. So I could draw the vector negative v by just taking this v and reversing it. Okay, so negative v is going to look like this. Okay, and so to draw the vector u minus v, which is the same as u plus negative v, we're going to start here. We're going to move along u. That's going to take us to this point. And then we're going to move along negative v, which is going to take us to this point. And so where did we start and where did we end? We started here and we ended there. And so u minus v should be this vector right here. u minus v. Okay, so it starts here and it winds up here. Okay, actually, <laughs> the diagram's getting a little cluttered here. Let me erase some of that. I want to make sure that you realize the direction here. Okay, so we're moving in this direction for u minus v. Okay. 